On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan, a blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, we are going to traverse the streets of one of Jamaica's most volatile and troubled Police Division. We are talking about the Kingston Western Police Division. Yeah, man, may I tell you, we are over the years, it has become a norm for its citizens to just drive by, walk by, ride by dead bodies piling up all over the streets of the Kingston Western Police Division. There is not one single calm spot in that entire police division as this entire police division has only garrison communities hotbeds for criminal elements we are talking about the so-called mother of all garrisons we are talking about tivoli gardens we are talking about denham town we are talking about hannah town we are talking about trench town we are talking about rima we are talking about jungle we are talking about craig town yeah man we are talking about the infamous benbo we are talking about Harrington Park, we are talk about Russell Road, we are talk about Lincoln, we are talk about Brooklyn, we are talk about Angola, we are talk about Maxfield. Yo, trust me, my peeps. Every single way in this particular police division is a hotbed for criminal elements. No, yesterday morning. The Anatown section of the Kingston Western Police Division got themselves another brutal double murder. Now on your screen is a police service vehicle at the scenes in Anatown. Now Anatown did kind of cool down for a little while, but ever since two controversial figures came out of prison, Anatown has erupted and a series of knockings and clappings has been consistently happening in that particular part of the Kingston Western Police Division. So watch this now my peeps. On your screen is a man known as Danville Palmer, one of the reputed gang leaders for the Upsetter Gang in Anatown. Now this brother I know has been raking havoc in the Hanatown space ever since he got released from prison. Note on my peeps, this brother here did a sentence in prison and now he's back on the streets. So more time, a leopard definitely can't change its spots and some of them boy are irredeemable. Them not coming like Digicel Pines. <laughs> yeah, man. And there's one time friend, no enemy, known as Danai presently on your screen, who is the son of a one-time reputed gang leader for the same gang, who was popularly known in the streets before him get slapped away as Little Wicked. Now Danai has walked in his father's footsteps, also recently released from prison. Now Danai has found himself foul of the law and is presently on his way back to prison. Has he attempted to rob a police officer over there in sections of Spanish Town? The police officer in quick reaction slap a one can in a Danai eye. Yeah man almost lick out him head back clean. Presently, I think he's still in the hospital nursing the can of can of wounds. If not, he's presently behind bars awaiting trial for that knockings and clappings as the officer also retrieved a mask and also a 12-gauge shotgun from the scene. So Danai is back behind bars awaiting to be sent away again. Hopefully this time 
for 15 years or more. Now that criminal space has been plagued for years and Danville Upsetter came back on the streets and clearly states that he wants to rule over all of Hannah Town and he will stop at nothing until he is the supreme leader for the entire Anatone community. Now, yesterday morning's double as a life, it is said that Danville Palmer walked dirty upon the one day. It is said that the men were taken out by their own family member and he was sent directly to take them out by Danville Palmer. Now, I'm pretty sure that the police that works or is assigned to the Kingston Western Police Division know of Danville Palmer very well and know of what he's also capable of. And I'm pretty sure that they know his aim and his plan. So, officers, Pandagrung, I think it is very much time to clean house. So the police has since identified the two men who get caught up in a that brazen drive-by knockings and clappings as Lance Thompson, age 28, known in the streets as Jaja or Bibi. He's of an upper Rose Lane address. And the next man will lose for him three points is known as Javon Ferguson, age 30, also known in the streets as Pimpim, also of an upper Oxford Street address, both of which is in the community of Anatone. Now the men get caught up by criminal elements traveling in a motor car in the community. The police reports went on to say that about 9.40 a.m., Thompson and Ferguson was standing along Upper Oxford Street when a Toyota Pro Box drove up along the roadway and stopped near to where they stood. Three men is said to have alighted from that motor vehicle, heavily armed with tall up, tall up and shot up, shot up and opened fire hitting Thompson and Ferguson, both of whom who ran and collapsed shortly after they sped off. The gunmen went back into the motor vehicle and drove off, escaping in that said motor vehicle. Both injured men were taken to the nearby Kingston Public Hospital, where they were pronounced you-know-what upon their arrival. The police went on the scene and recovered 20 spent casings of 9mm cartridges and 4 spent casings of 5.56. Yeah man, may I tell you. So no don't know say the man them come well arms to the tea. They come knock it and clap it and niam boy food and broke the plate. So may I tell you, you know my peeps, the thing well serious. <laughs> yeah man, may I tell you. And still in the Kingston Western Police Division, a man get a portion to knife up knife up wounds to him body by an abusive woman. Yeah man, man get abused by a woman in these streets too. So whether you don't believe it or not, and a man alone had the aggressor some of the time. Sometimes you have some terrible woman out there. Domestic violence against men is definitely real. Yeah, man. Now on your screen is Ramon Pattison. It is said that Ramon Pattison made several trips to the Trenchtown Police Station in the Kingston Western Police Division where he lodged reports against a woman who was allegedly physically assaulting him. His father, Paul, stated that the younger Pattison was seldomly taken serious. Except for an occasion about three months ago when the said woman in question was arrested after she stabbed him in one of his arms. 
The matter went to court, but it is stated that Ramon reportedly decided to withdraw the charges. The physical assault reportedly continued and on Monday it turned fatal after Ramon, age 25, get a portion to knife up knife up wounds to him body, pronouncing him you know what, allegedly by the said woman at his home in Rima. Now according to the police corporate communications unit, Ramon get a portion to tap tab up wounds about 11.15 a.m. by a female who came to his house. An argument developed between them and Ramon get a portion to knife up knife up wounds. He was however rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital where sadly he was pronounced you know what. The female who fled the scene is currently in police custody. Yesterday, the elder Patterson, that is his father, stated that his son endured constant abuse at the hands of this woman. He showed the news team three receipts of reports made to the police. Patterson stated that Ramon was at home combing his hair when he was approached by the knife-wielding woman who demanded to know who was the hairdresser and what she was doing at his house. The elder Patterson stated, and I quote, the amount of time him go up at the station and all some of the police has allegedly stated that every minute him come a station for girl. So in a distraught tone and manner, the father was sadly disappointed in what his son would have stated that the policeman at the station said about him. He described Ramon as his hands and his feet and said they shared a really tight bond. The father went on to say, and I quote, I from him at three months old, me have him, you know. His mother put him down on the countertop and gone leave him and me bring him up to this, me give him a house, me set him up because him is a good son, the distraught father stated, end quote. The elder Patterson stated that Ramon, the beneficiary of his life insurance policy, was always willing to help him. And he continued to say, and I quote, and my son clean out my pig farm for me every day. More time when time a day or so sit down pa my chair and me tired a Ramon go sell my goods them for me. Him get a work wa day a dung a honey bun as a baker so him always have something a do. He never involve in anything wrong. End quote. Stated the elder Patterson with tears flowing from his face. Most definitely to the elder Patterson condolences and i'm stating this that officers when you're taking a report from a male who is in an abusive relationship please take it serious because if the tables were reversed and it was a female came into that station teary eyed complaining to you that she was abused by a male immediately you would have gone in search of that male person and have him arrested and placed before the courts. Even though the father said at one point in time she was placed before the courts, but take every single report serious. And males, if an sister is a toxic woman, turn the next direction and run for dear life because some of them all crass mighty out here and I'm telling you, you know, some dangerous and wicked, heartless creatures, some of them. Sometimes I really have to wonder if these women came from women or a buck a cow, some of them born. But anyway, my peeps, domestic violence against men is real. Remember, if you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to Wonder Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man